Hello, it's Machine Dana. Welcome to the video. In this video, we're going to go through how you can set up follower goals on your stream. So like, yeah, you set a target and people look at it and go, wow, I must follow him. The reality is most people that are on your stream are probably going to be following you anyway. So it's kind of a bit of a weird thing to add a follower goal for existing viewers to look at, taking space up on your stream. But some people like to do it, okay? So hence why I'm here giving you the video and hence why you search for this content, probably. Or maybe it was a recommended. I don't know. I don't care. You're going to learn how to do it on this video. You don't need to be using Streamlabs OBS. However, if you are using Streamlabs OBS, it's integrated within the software already. Otherwise, if you're not, let's say, for example, using OBS Studio, OBS Live, whatever, you can just use it as a browser source on your streaming software. I'm going to go through both methods in this video. And before the end of it, you're going to have the best looking goals on the whole of the internet. As always, if you find this useful, feel free to give it a little like, feel free to subscribe to the channel, and if you want to ask me any questions whatsoever, check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. Let's go. Okay, for this video, you're going to need to navigate to streamlabs.com. We want to go to the all widgets section. If you don't see it here or somewhere there, just just do a search for it in this bar and you'll find it because they sometimes change all the navigation and all that rubbish. What we're searching for here is follow a goal. And by the way, just for reference point, it'll be the same repeatable thing for sub goals and also for bit goals. You just need to use a slightly different thing. Okay. These are standalone widgets, so you don't need to mod Streamlabs in your chat because it pulls the information through the linked account on your Streamlabs online account. So do you need to log in with the correct account here? If you're logging in on your like Facebook account and you want like Twitch integrated follow a goal, it's not going to work, right? Log in with your Twitch credentials here. Okay, just 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 do that. Next, we're going to click into the specific goal that you want to go for. In this case, we're going to go through follower goals. I'll link the videos below for sub goals and bit goals as well, just for reference point. But now we have the widget URL just located here. This is what we will copy if you're not using Streamlabs OBS. We'll be adding a browser source and it'll basically link to Streamlabs online. Do like a web hook, do some fancy internet stuff and then pulling the information about your followers and whether or not you've hit the goal, okay? So we have like a sample goal here see what it looks like we got some settings and manage the goal itself we got the title so we can give it a title yeah that'll do goal amount we should be able to get a million followers today we'll set the goal amount at a million you can start you can have a starting amount you can fake a starting amount here brilliant uh we've, we're already at forty thousand. this is quite funny because if you've actually not got forty thousand followers but you're putting that as the starting amount that could just be like a funny troll let me know if you do that in the comments below. <laughs> you can also choose to end this at a specific time. So we may say, right, I'm going to end this goal tomorrow. So let's say the 29th, 1st, 2021, because why the hell not? Stupid American dates. Why'd you put the month first? There you go. So we can start the goal here. The goal will now pull in all the relevant data. Don't see the goal yet because we're on sample goal. If you click my goal, you see then all of that. We got one day to go. We've got the title here. We've got the current amount. We're currently at 4% of our 1 million. We'll probably hit it today. Easy, easy. Probably should have gone for 2 million. So now you can go into settings and actually design this a little bit more. So first of all, the layout, there's that or there's like a condensed layout, which is a little bit cleaner. You see a lot of people with the standard layout and I really don't like it. It's smart, you'll use the condensed version. It just looks so much better. Now we can change all the colors and the elements as well. The bar color here. Just, just customize it. Just make it look nice. The bar text color. We want that white. Maybe not white. Like a... I always find it's quite nice to use contrasting colors. If you go on to Google and just search for like contrasting colors wheel, you can have a bit of a feel here for the types of colors that contrast well together. For instance, yellow goes quite well with blue, yellow also goes quite well with red. But ironically enough, yellow kind of goes for the opposite as well with good with purples and stuff. But if you want yellow and green, they're going to not contrast very well together if they're next to each other on the wheel. I'm going to go with something a little bit like kind of that. You choose the bar thickness. Let's go extra girthy. No, no, there's no girth here. Choose the font. Make sure you change the font. Everyone's got the same font. Open Sans. Orbitron. Orbitron's always a cool one to go for. It looks a little bit more like you get the crosses through the zeros. Now, at this point, you can enable CSS, JavaScript, and HTML if you want to do some like really fancy nerdy Cody stuff here uh, feel free to do that if you want if you've got any nerdy friends or if you are a nerd yourself if you've got like any themed overlays and things like that th that would be the place where you would add the the theme so we've got like a pretty decent looking goal here I'm now going to save settings again
gain. I'm going to copy the browser URL and now we get into the bit where we actually integrate this into your streaming software. So you're going to need to locate the area, the scene where you want to add this as a browser source. If you're using Streamlabs OBS, you can then click the plus icon on the sources and simply go to the follower goal here. And that will then just kind of pull in all the settings that you've already got, or you can even do the settings here as well. So let's add the source here. We'll give it a name, find follower goal. And all those settings have pulled in from our online account because our Streamlabs OBS is linked. There's all the visual settings here that we've added and we can change them within this. So this is an integrated widget press ok on that and here is the goal it's just appeared nicely now there's some condensing going on here so the text size is a bit of an issue there so this is the drawback to having it all inside the bar let's try a different font yep that font works better but looks trash but whatever and now we can just put that somewhere a little neat and tidy for instance underneath the the cam right so that looks a little bit more interesting than the normal sub goals with the green bars and the open sands that you normally see great if you're using obs live or obs studio you would just go to the same thing seeing that you want to the source that you want to add it in press the plus button and instead of selecting the integrated widget because it won't be integrated you go to browser source instead add source give it a new name follow a goal add source It'll put a placeholder image there for now. You now need to paste that URL that we copied to there. Being careful not to show the stream key. You can adjust the height and width settings and some other stuff here if you want. But this is obviously Streamlabs. It may be different settings for the software you're using. Click done on it and it will pull through a browser source instead. So there you have it, follower goals added to your stream, but like hopefully a little bit better than the ones you see everyone have, like the standard ones. All it takes an extra two or three minutes to customize, it looks a lot better, okay, to your stream. And guys, have a wonderful day, take care.